reviewing the week, uh, obviously huge wins for us at home. Have to take care of your home floor. Um, kind of two different games. Um, we fought uphill on both of them, but you know, San Diego State, so physical, so athletic. Air Force, I thought, came in and executed, made shots, made four threes to four threes to start the game, twelve to six, and kind of an uphill climb from there. Um, proud of what, proud of the way my team has responded at halftime. Proud of the adjustments we've made, and um, you know we got a huge one this week on the road. Got to go up and play as a group, and share it, and space it, and guard it, and see what happens. So, any questions? I'll take them. Yeah, I think that's a great way to put it, Mike. Um, road game, road games will be. If you can win your home games, road games are the determining factor, I think, in where you're going to finish. And, uh, you know, our goal is to finish at the top. And uh, this is another step in doing that. Um, I, I think we're playing a team that is much improved, uh, athletic, um, different team at home, obviously, than they've been on the road uh, with the wins they've had at home. And um, it's going to be a big challenge for us. What I've asked my group to do is take every day, every practice, every minute, and try to get better. And to respect the fact that we're in first place and don't rest on it, build on it. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that we can do that. I'm coaching them to do that, and that's what we're trying to do, is build on what we've done, don't rest on it, and make each other better. They make a lot of what I call non-alert threes. Meaning, if you drop your hand, if you assume they're not going to shoot, Carr, Perry, and Walker will make a deep three. And they did that here, especially Perry made big threes in the second half to kind of get them going. And the non-alert three is very important. Transition is very important. And then they are similar to Colorado State in the way they, they steal the ball. Um, around six steals a game. They link, they have length, they go for steals. Uh, so on the road in this league, you cannot turn the ball over. And, um, you know, I thought last week we did a better job of that. Uh, I think we had 11 against San Diego State and 11 against Air Force. So uh, we have to continue to challenge the three point shot and not turn the ball over. And, and uh, that'll give us a good chance. I do have great relationships with my guys, and they seem to respond to when I ask them to do something or pick it up or be more focused or, you know, and, and the thing is, it's crazy to say that because I asked them to do that to start the game too. But we're getting people's good, we're getting good shots from people. We're getting, people are giving us a good shot. Air Force played well and made plays and made shots. And I watched those threes, uh, the threes that Parker made, uh, the one that Holland made, those three, three of those first four threes, we were right there. I mean, right there. And, you know, teams do that when they're playing against maybe the top team in the league. That happens. But um, I go back to I have permission to be real with my guys. They know I care for them, and they've responded. And, you know, I'm thankful for that. Uh, they've allowed me to coach them. They've allowed me to mold them and develop them, and they haven't fought me on a whole bunch of stuff. And there's times in the game when, you know, every player has his ways, and every you guys all been around it to know that. But for the most part, They've allowed me to coach them and develop them, and they've, they've responded, and um, it's fun. You know, the whole reason I got into basketball was to make guys better and to have a guy have success. And um, when a guy opens up his heart and lets you coach him, I think he has a great chance of handling success. And we've seen it in our program time and time again. Luke staying here last summer and committing to the team. Johnny Bryant coming off the bench. Had a winning season to end his senior year. Sean Green, Tyler Kepke doing what I asked him to do off the bench, being ready to play. Lawrence Bohr becoming a stopper, and then all of a sudden his offense comes around. I mean, you just see it time and time again. Kim Tilly in the starting lineup, you got to defend and rebound for us, and he's done that. And it just you just see it happening, and it's very gratifying, and it's fun, and it's it's why you know we all do this. You know, it's why we're doing it. Make guys better. Well, I just think it's hardened us. I, I think it's made us tougher. We've been in every situation. 
We've guarded teams that were supposedly better than us and had to play teams that were supposedly better than us. The mental preparation for that, the um, little bit of fear you go through and maybe you're playing an opponent that everybody thinks should beat you and to be ready and to overcome that. I think that's all part of it. Um, I also think the, sk the schedule has elevated our program in my guys' minds. I think it's given, it's let them know that I think they're good and that I think we can beat people. And I think the schedule has given them confidence from day one because I told them, we're going to play these people and we're going to be ready and we're going to win. And, you know, I think it's raised them up a level to say, hey, we're, not, we're, we're, we're like everybody else, man. You know, we're not the old Utah. We're not the, you know, we're not. We're, we're something. And I, I think it's, our chest has been out a little bit, and I think it's been a good thing, not in a bad way, but a good way. And um, I also think it's created a buzz in the community. I think it's important when a guy walks around town and, hey, you got Gonzaga coming in, man. Good luck, man. We're rooting for you, you know. You got LSU coming in. You got, you know, uh, I, I, just, I just think it, it, it just raises everything up. I, I felt that. And, um, you know, I get jacked for every game, but, you know, I get jacked for those big games when we have a chance to get this program kind of back on the map, I get pumped up too, because that's why I came here. You know, there's a couple things in the, in the, in the philosophy of the schedule, and I just got asked this question earlier. Um, recruiting. Guys, our class is rated number one in the league for next year. It's third in the ESPN non-BCS uh, rankings. Guys want to play in big games, and guys want to play against the best. Guys want to play on national TV. The Oklahoma game was a chance to be on national TV. Um, you know, we had the league change the time for the Gonzaga game from four to six because New Year's Day is a work day. It was on versus. That's a national game, you know. So uh, the schedule's a big part of getting national exposure for my players, my program, and for our recruiting because we can sell that. Um, also, we recruit against the, the Big 12, the Pac-10. Uh, we recruit against Gonzaga. We recruit against, you know, the schools in the um, – What's it, the Big West? I'm trying to West Coast. West Coast. You know, we, so we have to play them. And people say, well, what if you lose? You still played them. You still gave yourself a chance. And they can't say you're scared of playing them. They can't say you won't play them. So it all fits into this thing. And, and also what it does for our guys. And then you know, our, my job is to fill seats and get people into the stadium. And I tried to take care of everything that I could control in doing that, you know, by playing the best schedule possible and you know, doing the best I could with that. So uh, the schedule is really to build the program back. And you know, we're going to continue to play a good schedule. It's not going to be this year and then it's over. It just happens to be next year some of the games are on the road, right? But you know, um, Utah State comes in here next year. That's a very big quality game. And uh, we got to go to Weber. So I mean, it's, and those are two very good teams. So. Um, it's been fun to play the schedule. I have to tell you, that this summer when I was speaking and trying to get people to buy tickets and come to the games, I had my chest out, hey, we're going to play the schedule. And then you go to play it, and you're like, oh, man. You know, but we, we got through it. So.